Welcome back. Here's a live look at South Haven. You can see a few clouds that are streaming still into view. They're slowly clearing from the north to the south. As a comparison, here's East Grand Rapids. Temperatures are cool despite the sunshine, and you can see a brisk breeze. Kind of feels like fall out there today, and it's going to continue to feel that way over the next several days. Right now, we're pulling in air out of the northeast, and it is a little on the breezy side. Temperatures in the 70s where we've recovered the sunshine, so Holland, Grand Rapids to the north. North, Allegan Hastings to the south, still for the most part locked in the 60s because of the cloud bank. All of us are going to be clearing out overnight tonight, so we're not anticipating any lingering showers. It's just going to go full clear sky with temperatures dipping down into the mid 50s. From there, after a cool start to the day, we should launch back up to 77 for a forecast high with plenty of sunshine. And we're checking wildfire smoke potential. It looks very, very low which means we actually get to see blue sky on our clear sky days. Here's the setup. Settling radar showing an area of high pressure, and this is what's helping to bring in the air out of the northeast. We are going to be seeing one or two clouds from time to time over the next few days, but by and large, we're going to be staying storm free. So this is going to allow the rain that we've received to really soak into the ground, and it's going to help to dry us back out over the next several. Futurecast shows the cloud cover coming in from the northeast until we get to Thursday. That's when we start to see the next approaching system, but it's very dry. So at most on Thursday, I think we might see a few clouds, not many, and certainly not enough to rob us of the sunshine. Now, one thing that we want to keep in mind, if you're headed to the beach tomorrow, our temperatures for our water have also taken a crash. So not only is it feeling a little fall-like with our air temperatures, some of our water temperatures are starting to indicate a drop and I would not be surprised especially after tomorrow if we have a full upwelling event so water temperature is likely dropping into the 50s to low 60s by the time we get to tomorrow here's the eight day forecast looking exceptionally pleasant Saturday and Sunday clear skies great for the Perseid meteor shower Lainey Gerber is in next with sports